Welcome back to Headline Country, where our around the globe journeys land us in the small lower Alabama community known as Enterprise. Thanks to the undying dream of one of its lifelong citizens named Ronnie Gilly, the town known mostly for a tornado that destroyed its high school a few years ago could rise from the rubble as the new capital for live country music. Now that some of country's biggest names have jumped on board, the former car salesman's crazy dream just might actually come true. It may look like a big piece of dirt with a few steel beams, but if developer and entrepreneur Ronnie Gilly gets his way, this swath of land near Dothan, Alabama will be the new capital for live country music. We're sitting right smack dab on top of an entertainment extravaganza. An extravaganza called Country Crossings, a theater, resort, and entertainment center aimed at attracting the growing number of retirees settling in lower Alabama. We started to cultivate that a little bit more and, and started to study that generation of people and came to the conclusion it is an entertainment driven society. Their number one uh, uh, genre of music, preferred genre of music is country music. 83% of that generation know who George the Possum Jones is. So it, that blew me away. That's some serious name recognition. Which is why the Possum is laying down roots in the nearby town of Enterprise. Along with a soon to be open bed and breakfast at Country Crossings called Possum Holler, George and his wife Nancy Jones have also lent their brand to a new subdivision called Legends. Theirs is the first home on the block. Did you ever think you would find yourself settling down in Enterprise, Alabama? Well, uh, you know, you never know where you're going to wind <laughs> up. You know, I've always told people I'm liable to pop up anywhere. <laughs> you get approached by a lot of people to do a lot of things that want your, your name, want your likeness to be a part of it. Why was Ronnie Gilly's proposal so enticing? Well, because of uh, myself getting older and, and uh, taking more time off the road. Uh, to really enjoy a life uh, of the different things of life. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was very interesting when I was told by Ronnie that he'd love to have uh, maybe thought part of it. Though George and Nancy have yet to officially move into their new home, the possum was excited to show off their new digs. We didn't care to have uh, uh, upstairs or anything. Right. We wanted everything on one level. One level so, because you know, I'm a little older than Nancy, and it's hard to keep up with her. <laughs> it's hard for me to keep up with her, George. <laughs> this is the living room, and the kitchen is to the right here. You haven't quite moved in yet. We sharing this. <laughs> it's not just yours and not just hers. Yeah, but uh, I'll I'll have about this much, yeah. and she. <laughs> She'll have all She'll of have the rest. This is one of the coolest things in the house, in my opinion. Oh, yes. I love this back porch. Completely screened in, no bugs. No bugs. Except uh, the ones that might come see us sometimes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what do you mean by that? Uh, I resemble that remark. Well, happy, uh, happy home well, welcoming. Thank you, thank you so much, and y'all welcome anytime. All right, let's go back inside. It's hot. Uh-oh. Do you have the key? Hello? Hello? Nancy Lou? Nancy? Other artists who are renting their name to Ronnie Gilly's dream include John Anderson, Tracy Lawrence, Daryl Worley, and Kix Brooks. As for Lori Morgan, along with two new albums set for release on Ronnie and his partner James Stroud's record label Stradivarius, Lori has also just recently signed on to the Broadway recreation of the hit movie Pure Country starring Joe Nichols in the lead role made famous by George Strait. I'm, I'm ready for a, a change, and um, my family's very supportive of me, my boyfriend's supportive of it, and so I'm, I'm gone. Pure Country on Broadway opens early next year.